What's going on, guys? Noah, and welcome to another episode. Noah. Shall we? What's going on, guys? It's Noah. Drop like an earthquake. Kicking their bass TV here with another video today, and we got another LTV challenge. And today I'm going to be filming with my higher quality camera. I got a mic set up and everything. And leave a comment, like leave a comment below in the comment section if the audio quality is good. I've been working on the camera for a while, and sometimes it goes out of the left ear and only the right, and it's just kind of messed up sometimes. And every time I fix it, every other video it just starts messing up again. So, um, leave a comment below on how the sound quality sounds and if you like this camera better. But let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be talking about today. So, we're going to hop in to the Lucky Tackle Box. I'm going to show you um, all the baits. So, pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to have a challenge where I try to catch at least one bass, at least one fish, on each lure in the box. And so, um, I did another video on it. If you haven't checked it out yet, um, definitely go check it out. And the link will be in the bio below and definitely leave a comment if you guys enjoy these um, challenge videos so um, basically I got in here I'm just gonna go over them really quick um, I got a swim bait right here as you can tell split in the middle so it's gonna have that live live action and it looks pretty much like a bluegill so I mean that's pretty good there's a lot of big bluegill in here bl the bluegill in here and um, that's gonna be perfect also got these um, being in baits we got the just these little craws. Um, I've actually fished some of these before. I had some white ones that I fished for bedfish. And a good thing about Lucky Tackle Box, sometimes they mess up. They sent me two packs of them, so that's perfect. Um, also got a Strike King buzz bait. That's a new buzz bait. And um, I actually picked up a few of these at Bass Pro the other day um, for one of my tournaments. Got a little prop bait, my Lucky Strike, or Reaction Strike. Got a six cents crankbait. I got these Lunker Hunt mini minnows. And lastly, I have the hooks, just some regular standard mustad hooks. And so um, pretty much, and then it comes with a magazine and then a card that tells you everything about the box. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go ahead and hop in to this challenge. Right now, I have this crankbait tied on, a six cents crankbait. It's a little square ball, has a lot of rattle to it. I really like it, let's see what we can do. I actually see a bass swimming right here next to the stump. I guess he's kinda near his bed. Let's see if I can catch him. <gasps> oh my God. That was crazy. Honestly, guys, that that wasn't even the fish. That, that wasn't even the fish that I was actually targeting for. <laughs> the other fish was actually really pretty pretty good size, but let's see if we can get that one. I'm going to keep on throwing this bait for a little bit longer. I have a feeling they're just going to tear it up. Got one about the same size as the last. Look how small this guy is. I don't even know what he's trying to do, trying to eat this crankbait. I need his mama. He's hit me. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, another broom. Well, pull me in the lake. Look at that, guys. Another huge bluegill. Sunfish. Oh. Guys, look how big and healthy these bluegill are here. That's insane. I'm going to throw a couple more casts of this, and then we're ha going to have to change baits. We'll have some fun with it afterwards. Oh my god. This is a good one. Huh? Better. Yeah, there you go. It's a little better fish. There you go, guys. On the crankbait. It's not a huge one, but this is getting better. They, they're getting bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on another bait. I've already caught like four fish on this thing. All right, guys, right now I got the Lunker Hunt minnow on right now. I'm running it weightless. It's going to be a really finesse approach. It's going to be really hard to cast, but these baits are really tough. I just don't realize that. I mean, these things are, you can probably catch 20 fish on this one bait. So let's see what I can do. I might lay this on a few of their beds. I'm sure they'll eat that up. Oh my God. <laughs> he slaunched it. That's the only problem. These baits are really tough. I'm just hoping these things can get the hook in their mouth. I'm gonna expose the hook a little bit. Make sure they're gonna get it. God, he couldn't stand that. He, he just swiped at it. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much first cast on that minnow. I didn't think it was going to work that good, but God. That Lunker Hunt minnow. Look at that. I actually thought it was a big one for a second. They can't stand that thing. It looks so realistic. It's crazy. There you go, guys. Nothing big, but caught a bass on a little minnow. I'm going to throw that a couple more times because two casts I had to blow up the first time. He didn't eat it all the way, and then I caught this one. These fish are really healthy. Let's go! There you go. That's a better one. I literally, guys, this is honestly one of the mess, most finesse baits I've fished. Like that, it doesn't even phase it. It's like I just threw it in there. I didn't even twitch it. And the fish already had it in his mouth. I just lifted up on my rod. He was just running with it. I mean, look at that, guys. Choked it. There you go, guys. That's a better fish. They're getting better. Um, but I'm going to go back over there where I saw that fish guarding his um, fry. And um, I'm going to go see if I can catch that fish on this little finesse minnow. You ready? Oh, my gosh. He is tailing that thing. He got it. Oh, he spit it out. This thing's so finesse, guys. That fish is just tailing it. He did not like that. Oh, oh my God. He's eat it. <laughs> he got it. Oh my God. He knows, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm fishing for him. God, he had it in his mouth. He's just running off with it. There we go, guys. That's a better fish. Finally got him. He creeped up what I did. Is there's this rock in the water. His fry was hovering over the top of it. I threw my bait past it, worked it back up on it. He was watching it. Landed it right on where the fry was landing, where the fry was sitting, and um, literally just left it there. He went back around the rock to in front of it, and I just twisted her off the rock, let it slowly fall, and he just picked it up. It's not a really big fish, but it's definitely fat and um, better than the other fish. So definitely good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tie on another bait and keep on whacking them. All right, guys, got this B&M baits. 
little crawl on right here and I actually rig it, I'm rigging it on the same hook as I rigged the other little minnow on. Um, I'm gonna be running this weightless so I'm gonna throw it out there and let it sink very slow and this pond's really not that deep. I wanna twitch it a couple of times and I'm sure they'll pick it up by then. I bet they're just gonna chomp this thing up. <clears throat> Oh my god, I watched him eat it. <laughs> Guys, I was just working that thing really slow, letting it fall and everything. Now look into the water. This pond's water is pretty pretty clear. And that fish literally was swimming behind it. I twitched it one more time and grabbed it and just started running off with it. Literally watched the thing eat it. Fish on the crawl right there. I'm gonna tie on a new bait. We're gonna keep on chucking. All right, guys, I got this prop bait on. Reaction strike one. Um, I don't know really if this is gonna be a hard bait to catch fish on or not. I mean, it's pretty fairly small bait, but I don't I don't know. Let's let's see what we can do. Oh my God. That's so... Yes. I literally saw five or six fish. Oh my God. I walked up and there's like five or six literally staring at Staring at me in the face. I got fire ants all over me. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that was kind of a fail. I literally looked down. I have, I have freaking fire ants all over my leg. They're all crawling up my leg in my shoes. That was, that was crazy. Knock on wood, I didn't get bit by one. I was literally standing right in the pile. I can see my footprint. But there's a fish right there. Finally got one on that prop, prop bait. I'm gonna cast it a few times right here. I saw literally I walked up and I saw like five fish. They were just facing me. And then when I walked up, I just spooked them. They went away. I don't know what they were doing. Let's see if we can catch another one. Alright guys, I came back over here. I'm about to tie this swim bait on. I'm getting away from those fire ants. I've tried, the funny part is I tried to play it off. I looked down and I saw I like in my head I saw a few like fire ants and I was like, alright, I'm gonna hit them. In reality, there was like a hundred of them crawling up my legs, and so I just dropped the fish and everything. <laughs> Knock on wood, I didn't get stung by them, but that would have sucked. You guys would have got to see that live in an LTV video. That wouldn't be that fun. Summer and winter's got its ups and downs, and all summer has all those things out, and it's gonna be biting the heck out of you. All right, let's go catch a fish over here on the swim bait. Let's try over here. swim bait that I'm gonna be throwing. Um, it's pretty much going to look like this bluegill. Um, so I'm going to swim it right up here on this little shallow spot over here. I'm going to try to parallel the bank with it, but if that doesn't work, I know of a few beds that are still over here, and um, hopefully we'll get a fish to bite. Oh. That's a better one. It's the biggest one today on that swim bait. Oh, heck yeah. I was honestly getting a little scared about that swim bait. He just ate it up. There you go, guys. Nothing big. He hit it pretty good. Um, caught him on the swim bait finally. And what I saw is I saw these fish just chasing up this little brim up to the shore. So I came over here and I started pitch or throwing that swim bait up to the bank he just came up and ate it he took it a few times and he finally committed to it pretty bad try out the strike king buzz bait um and try to see if we can get some top water action going i know there's still some bedding fish here on um, this is the pond that i fished in the last video and so maybe this will piss the fish off and they'll come up and eat it but there you go. As you can tell, this buzz bait's a little bit different. Um, what's really good about it is it has this little um, bead, I guess you could say, right below the prop. So when the prop spins, see how it's clacking really, really loud. So that, that's really great about the buzz bait. It's also a free hook. It rotates kind of like a wobble head. So we're gonna try this out. Let's go catch some fish. Yum. Finally. Come on, get in here, get in here. Yes. It's tiny. Oh 
my god, finally got a fish on this thing. I've been fishing this thing forever. And I mean, I usually fish a busby. Look how small this thing is compared to the busby. That's stupid. Look at that. I couldn't get one fish, even ones that are four times his size, to bite it. And then this little tiny thing bought it. Look at that. And I actually ate it. That's funny. But guys, that's all the baits. I'm about to go grab the crankbait, and I'm going to run around the pond a little bit more and see if I can catch some, because I think they'll just destroy that crankbait. But there's a lot of bass right here by this cove. Let me go release this fish real quick. But there's a lot of bass around this cove area right here. And the reason they're right here is because, I mean, there's so many brim beds. Like, literally, I can see them with my glasses on. You guys probably wouldn't be able to. But there's tons of brim beds right here in this corner of this pocket. It's all protected and everything. Um, and pretty much, those bass are pinning this bluegill up and everything. But I walked over here. I literally, I can, I can look at, like, 60 to 80 bluegill just sitting right here. And they're big ones, too. They're really, really big, just on their beds and there's at least like 100 beds all around here it's crazy how only if you had like a worm and a bobber you could catch a crap ton <laughs> he came off see that small one right there guys i said i was going to go back and grab the crankbait but i grabbed that little minnow that weightless minnow you can just throw it out there let it sink. They usually pick it up. If they don't, you usually twitch it one time and they already have it. This thing's killer. That's a fish. That is a fish. Has to be. Yeah, it is. That's a better one. The colors on these things are crazy, guys. I mean, look at the colors on these fish. They're, they're really not big. I wish I could get some big fish for you guys right now. But this pond just, I mean, it used to have tons of big fish. I don't know why. I don't know where they went. But, I mean, these are still really fun to catch, and it's fun to do these LTV challenges on. But, gosh, look at that fish. The colors on it is crazy. There's a good bath. He ate it. God, they look so big in the water, but colors on these things just, God, I'm never, like, in any lake or anything in this pond, the water's just so clear and these fish are just so healthy. Amazing. There you go, guys. Nothing big, still the same size. I'm hoping to run to a bigger one. Last time I was here, I caught, like, a three and a half, but that's really the biggest I've caught here in a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the lucky tackle box challenge please click the like button and if you guys really enjoyed it please comment below on what you guys want to see and if you really enjoy the ltb challenges because um i actually really enjoy making them and i actually challenge you guys to make your own ltb challenge if you want if you're already um subscribed to them then go ahead go out on the water but if you're not you can also go get like a trial box for fairly cheap so go to their website i'll leave the link below and um go get your own box and I challenge you guys, and you guys tag me in your videos, you guys tag me in your post, and it's just a lot of fun. What I really like is because pretty much, I mean, I can fish baits that I've really never fished before. You know, I fished the Scott Martin Challenge. They had tubes in the Lucky Tackle Box. I've never fished tubes before. Fished a tube and caught literally two, two or three keepers and um, solid fish. And so it just lets you use different baits that you probably wouldn't use. Like today, that minnow. I, I've never used that minnow. I never thought about using that minnow. And it was the most productive bait of the day out of the box. So I really challenge you guys. Tag me in those challenges. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please click the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Legacy, family. Yeah. Legacy, family. Yeah.